Good morning and welcome to a brand new year. It is 2014 and you're now watching the first Breakfast with Deacons show for the year. And we're going to have a bumper new year. You know, this is, we are rolling out the year as the number one breakfast show. And we're going to remain as number one. This morning with me, I have an honorary deacon. I have to call him an honorary deacon, you know. <laughs> it's my buddy, Winston Garcia. And what better way to roll out 2014 than with the youth? Uh, yeah, yeah. The youth. Future. The, because hear this. Present and the future. We have Jesus, right, who we, 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 are, we, are, we, are, we are just celebrating his birthday, you know. And therefore, we're talking about youth because he's a little youth boy. He died, you know as, a, I mean? he died as a young adult, you know? And he died as a young adult? <laughs> he was under 35? He was, a, he, was a, he was under 35. So he was a youth then? Young adult. Young adult. Yeah. So you see, we're starting, starting the new year with young <laughs> adults, with youth, and the youth commission. And it's always good news to hear what the young people are doing throughout Trinidad and Tobago. And you know, we want to bring you good news. We have so many things happening that we want you all to look out for in this new year. All right? In this month, the month of January, we're coming to San Fernando, mm -hmm. where we're going to be doing the Life in the Spirit, Spirit seminar. seminar. Encounter with wake Christ. Wake up, wake up, folks. Wake this is up. it. This is a bumper year mm -hmm. for youth, a bumper year for the Archdiocese. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, the, the youth of, of the North have been calling again. They said, Uncle Derek, listen, you did it once. It was <laughs> great. You have to come back again. Every year. You know? So we just want <laughs> to let them know we are repeating every year. Mm -hmm. And look out for us. We're coming. Right, especially those in the south, we're gonna be there in the next couple of weeks. Those in the east, we're coming back, and those in central, what a rocking group in central. You Hallelujah. know, Father Chris, boy, you're doing some tremendous work in central. We're gonna be there, and then we have Father Ferdy organizing his group, and oh gosh, Father Steve ready for us, you Tobago. know, in, in Tobago. So, a lot of wonderful things happening. Okay, I'm just letting you all know this is a secret. Don't tell anybody until Uncle Derek tells you all to tell them, okay? <laughs> We're having our own program called Catholics Got Talent 2. You understand that? Catholics Got Talent 2. This is a show just like, you know, forget Digicel Rising Stars. Forget the voice. This is Catholics, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they have talent too. That's so true. all of you in your various vicariates, get ready. We're going to be letting you all know about Catholics Got Talent too. It's going to be coming up. It's going to be different. It's going to be inspiring. It's going to be awesome. So if we have young people watching on, if we have grandparents or parents watching on, tell your young people that Catholics Got Talent too is going to be a wonderful show. It's going to be their show. Bring all your friends. Start watching Channel 10, not only for Breakfast with Deacons, but for all the shows. You understand? I know you all getting some competition. My brother Winston. Blessings. Welcome and welcome to Breakfast with Deacons. Thank you. What's happening with the youth for this year? Well, Youth Commission is standing on three legs. Three legs. Three key responsibility areas. All right. KRAs. Encounter with Christ. Yes. Formation mm -hmm. and mission. Mm -hmm. Encounter with Christ, where we see we starting off with some life in the spirit seminars right. through the Archdiocese. Beautiful. There's a workshop on Alpha. Mm -hmm. We want to, Alpha to spread. Right. That's an opportunity for people to, people's faith to be awakened. Right. Then we got U2000. Mm -hmm. We got core retreats lined up. We have about three already lined up for, for the first quarter right. of the year. Yeah. And then the other parishes who are getting getting organized, getting in line. Fantastic. And we have a massive charismatic <coughs> conference coming up this weekend? This weekend. Right, wonderful. As far as formation is concerned, mm -hmm. we have a new formation program. Mm -hmm. As soon as the Life and the Spirit seminar is over, yeah. they've got something to fall back into yeah. to continue growing. Yeah. Because they must, they must bring the, the experience of God, that relationship of God must, must brought into maturity. Mm -hmm. And it only happens through formation. Right. We also have a leadership training program starting, hopefully in February. We'll be starting with a, um, a program to sensitize people to, the, to, to, to take care of young people and to protect them from predators and so on. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, so that program will be taking place one on the 18th of January in San Grande. Mm -hmm. Virtus, the Virtus training program. Right, right. Youth leaders, we are, if you're going to be working with young people, you've got to get certified mm -hmm. to be able to to protect young people, to watch right. for the signs, to be able to reach out to them and help them. Yeah. And then there's formation. A lot of this will be happening this, this year in formation. Mm -hmm. But the big 
the big thrust this year will be on mission. Okay. We're trying to complete our missions training center in Kaiwal. Mm -hmm. It's taking a lot more than we expected. Mm -hmm. Thank God the self-help commission, mm -hmm. they have given us uh, they, they've given us their word that they're going to they're going to release hundred and twenty thousand dollars for the project. Wow, good, good, good. And um, it, could we invite young people? And I want to, what I want to let you know is this: there are a lot of young people outside mm -hmm. here who are willing to help. They want to come on board. They want listen. Young people need to be challenged. Call young people want. Call the delegate for you at totally six delegate. eight five. 0321. Right. Or, or email us at rcyctt yeah. at gmail and say, listen, I am tired of the talking. I want to get I involved. I want to get involved. Let me tell you all something. You right. heard those numbers there. 685 yes. 0321. RCYCTT at gmail. Now we have a big mission project coming up in St. Lucia. I want us to talk about that as let's, soon as we let's go. No. Repeat it? Yeah. We're we going to say it again. Go ahead. 685-0321. That's my direct cell number. Right. Talk to the delegate. And our email address yeah. is rcyctt at gmail. You can also get it on Facebook. All right. Uh, just go on Facebook and put Catholic Youth Commission on your inside. But do you all also have a page on um, our, our Port of Spain website? Oh, yes. We do. So, listen. If you if you also it's really easy to go on to the rcpos.org, Roman <coughs> Catholic Port of Spain rcpos.org, and you'll get all the links. You'll get all the links. Everything within the archdiocese. Go straight to the Youth Commission, and you'll be able to go there. Now listen, we've got an incredible database mm. of the over a thousand people, a thousand youth who participated with the last Light in the Spirit seminars mm. and all, all those who, oh, yeah. young adults who were assisting, over a thousand young people, mm -hmm. right? So what we're going to do is they've been clamoring and asking, look, Uncle Derek, you got us on fire. Yeah. We want to burn down something. <laughs> you understand? So we're going to put them to burn, help in Kaigual. <coughs> so they just need to be empowered. But let's get on to what's been happening because we, listen, I know this is a show only oh, yeah. for good news. But we had we, our brothers and sisters of the islands, right? They have just on the eve of Christmas, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, experienced tremendous hardship. Mm -hmm. But the good news is Trinity, the land of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. We come in. That's right. We are coming to help. <clears throat> and Winston is going to give you a little breakdown on we are coming to help and what it means. Right. Now, we call St. Lucia. Yeah to find out how we could get involved because the Holy Father says, listen, this, in his Muir's message, Christianity is about brotherhood. Amen. <clears throat> but recognizing the fact that we have the same Father. Amen. But if we, 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 if we condense that <clears throat> and make it more personal, these people in St. Lucia, <clears throat> they are our brothers and sisters. Yeah. St. Lucia is 75% Catholic. They were 95% Catholic yeah. a couple of decades ago. Yeah. You know, 75%. They, they recite the same creed as us. They break bread around the same table like us. <coughs> we did me. something wrong with, but well, well. My, my throat gave me a little, uh -huh. sinus gave me a little problem, but uh -huh. beyond sinus, we're going beyond sinus. This All right, word. go ahead. When I call Bishop Rivas, Bishop Rivas says, listen, people, th th this thing was so sudden, they weren't expecting this thing at all. People were preparing for Christmas and have organized and done and fixed up the, the, the business. And all of a sudden, they spend a, in, a, in the space of a few minutes, yeah. the water levels were rising from three to five feet. Yeah. People's beds. Yeah. They've got no place to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. All the linen, yeah. all the clothes, yeah. food, yeah. gone, you know. Yeah. Gone. You know what it is? People now have to take down the curtains to try and find a little place to sleep on a curtain, you know, because everything is mud, slush, and they have no water because all the bridges that were washed away, mm -hmm. the water lines pa passed on those bridges. And they were ripped away. The bridges gone, the water lines gone. Yeah. So they're praying for rain now to, mm -hmm. to fall in moderate quantities mm -hmm. so that they still gather some of their roofs. All right. But the greatest need, um, as Bishop River said, is for mattresses. Listen. We need mattresses. We need 300 mattresses to send to St. Lucia. How quickly can you all <laughs> send in mattresses for us? No, hold a second right there. We don't want mattresses. You don't want mattresses. We want money. We got onto a supplier, a okay. manufacturer. Okay. And they said, listen, mm -hmm. 
we are going to give you better than the wholesale price. Uh -huh. We're going to give you a mattress for 300 That's not $300. That's not $300 for the sake of a wrong figure. Uh -huh. All right. Advanced Foam is the name of the company. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank them for the gesture. Advanced Foam, watching on Catholics with Deacon, thank you very much for helping us support our brothers and sisters in St. Lucia. Lucia. No. So we, need, we want to send at least 300 mattresses. Okay. How soon we need to get these things off? No, that's the other thing. These mattresses are going to cost 86, 000, about $86,000. That's, that's what? That's all they're going to cost. Hey, we only need $86,000 no. just for the mattresses. No, but the thing is, uh -huh. we, if we could get that money up front, yeah. we could, we could um, get the manufacturers to start rolling. Mm -hmm. Because there's a boat sailing on Friday. Right. The manufacturers have committed to say, once you could get the money to us, we'll get it done. We will get it done. Okay. The okay. boat is sailing on Friday. Yeah. Um, lunchtime. Okay. Okay. We have enough time to get it on the boat, but we need the money. All right. The the the, the donations are coming in, trickling in one by one. Okay. But we need if somebody could if we could get that money up up front mm -hmm. and we could pay for this thing, mm -hmm. we get in a free. Free transportation from up the, the ODPM right. up the road to St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. And they don't need this next week, you know, they need this now. People don't want to sleep uh, yeah, yeah. next week. People want to sleep today. <coughs> they want to sleep tonight. Mm -hmm. But the best we could do is give it to them tomorrow night. You understand? So they'll be able to get it tomorrow night if you donate. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, you want to tell them where to donate? We have to tell you where to donate. Or you could just call in again yes. to the Youth Commission. Listen, go to the website or just call Uncle Derek, right? 680-1043 or call Living Water Community. If you can't remember anything else, but I know you're on Trinity, you could call us here at Living Water Community so that we could get donations down to the Youth Commission. But go directly to the Youth Commission. But if you can't remember all the numbers, Living Water Community, 109 Frederick Street. You know, you know us, you're watching us, call in. All right? Mm -hmm. Listen, Winston. But, you know, the people in St. Lucia, I heard Dominica, St. Vincent, St. Vincent. Everybody affected. I can't believe we have, a this thing. we have a responsibility. Trinidad is untouched, was yeah. untouched. Yeah. But we had our pastel mm -hmm. and our sorrel, ginger beer, mm -hmm. bunch of cream, everything as normal. Um, a lot of children got their toys swept away. Christmas tree, everything gone. Yeah. Now, one of the things about the, the St. Lucian um, experience is that when we had the AEC Youth Assembly in 2012, which yeah. you were speaker, uh, that's right. The different islands of the Caribbean was were, were, were kept mm -hmm. housed in different parishes, yeah. and our our archdiocese, we had about 50 young people staying in a place called Viewfort, mm -hmm. which was one of the places that was most um, severely ravaged. So our pe young people. Mm -hmm stayed there and experienced the warmest and kindness mm -hmm. of hospitality yeah. treatment yeah. from our brothers and sisters from St. Lucia. So when they got that message Christmas Day, mm -hmm. some of our young people were crying, were in tears. Yeah. Because these people who loved them and cared for them yeah. for a week yeah. were now without their homes, without yeah. uh, a place to rest their heads. Yeah. So in 2012... L let's, let's see if we can focus on it, yeah. right? This is the T-shirt that we went yeah. to St. Lucia with. Yes. All right? The AEC, mm -hmm. St. Lucia 2012. Yeah. Your word is a lamp unto for my steps and a light for my path. That was the theme. Yeah. And they, they took care of us. They watched over us. They nurtured us. Mm -hmm. Now is our responsibility. Now is our time to, help to them. show that we care. Right. And that, that Catholicism... Ain't no joke. It's universal. It's a it's a universal family. And it's a family. But, uh, yeah. see, but it's not just universal. It's a Cari the Caribbean neighbors. Yeah. They look like us. They speak. Like, they have the same. They have the same spiritual bloodline like all of us. And the food, nice. Right. So we have a responsibility. Yes. To reach out to them, beyond our our normal limits of generosity. Okay. We have to break those barriers in 20, 2014 and really be our brother's keeper. You know, um, as Bishop Harris said over this weekend um, for in his old, um, old days night vigil, yeah. he says we have to re-examine our relationship with Jesus, with God. You know? yes, right. This nation has to re-examine its relationship with God because the same people, the, 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 the murder rate rising, the corruption index flying, the same people who praying is the same people 
who thiefing. Oh God, don't say that. Don't who say killing, that. Killing, no. Who dishonest? Yeah. Who not helping? Who hoarding? Keeping all the blessings to yourself. Build your walls. Build your systems around you to protect your money, to protect your, your stuff. And forget your brothers outside. Get people outside. If we are going to live Christianity the way Pope Francis is asking us to. Knock down the walls. Open the gates. No, no, no. You can keep your walls up. Keep your no, physical no, no, walls. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, because listen, we have not dealt with the security of people as yet. You have your, your children, your daughters, your valuables. Your you have to protect yourself. But as a, as a people, we need to let down. We need to start gradually letting down our fences in every sense, across the board. And eventually, when the time comes, we will break down the walls. But we can't prematurely start breaking down the walls, the physical walls, until we break down the spiritual walls. Those the are the emotional walls, walls that I'm talking That's about. What we're talking about. Those are the walls I'm talking about. The walls of selfishness. <laughs> you know what I mean? The walls of being uncaring. As long. But hold on. Uh -huh. That child, that gift that we receive from Almighty God, a gift, you know, to redeem us, to bring us back into harmony with our brothers and sisters. That is the new hope. That's right. That is the new hope. That's right. That's right. And therefore, we've got to bring that hope to our brothers and sisters of the island. No, absolutely. They have to know that we're not just talking about Christianity, but we care about them. We break the same bread. Did I tell we you? We believe in the same eh? presence. Did I tell you oh. what the parish of, of St. Anthony's did this weekend? Tell me. Listen, we didn't <laughs> have enough room you know, in the back of the sacristy, okay? Because we, our, our parish priests made an appeal. Mm -hmm. They made an appeal for our brothers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, our brothers in Dominica, in St. Lucia, and the place, the, there was overwhelming support, mm -hmm. you know? People bringing in before Holy Mass, mm -hmm. you know, their gifts, their donations, their money, and so on, to assist our brothers and sisters. So they are organizing in St. Anthony's Parish, mm -hmm. you know, and Nativity. And I know outside there in your other parishes, you all are doing the same, because our people, are beautiful people. Absolutely. They give. Our people have always given. When St. Lucia had the floods just mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. right, the, the, the outpouring of love was tremendous. But it has to be sustained. You know? eh? But that we've got to go. It has to be a sustained thing. It can't be when things happen. Our eyes have to become sensitive to needs now. That's why we, the, the, the center in Kaiwal is so important. And we, we have weekends where you can train people ah, and sensitize formation. people and form people. Yes. To go out on mission. To go out on mission. That's right. To go out on no, mission. The thing about it, eh? mm -hmm. when you look at scripture, we see all those disciples didn't just wake up one morning and say, boy, I feel like I want to follow Jesus. You know? Jesus went out to them by the yeah. Sea of Galilee and said, hello. Follow me. Hello. You young man with the net out there, I need to talk to you. The, we, this is how we need to break down this message and begin to carry it on the streets and to call people into relationship with God, then into discipleship. And Jesus had them for three years. He, three he was years. Three years of formation. That's right. Three years of formation, and then he sent them out on the shore. Right. After, after the three years, they were still not ready. They needed the Holy Spirit Amen. to bring to life all the, all the, the catechesis that they were getting. You know, that's a big problem I have with us sometimes, you know. We injecting catechesis, 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 catechesis into people's brains. But the catechesis is not going to work unless it's unless it's powered by the Holy Spirit. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the bishops of the AEC call that cold knowledge. When you have all, when all you have is the catechesis, that is cold knowledge. It is incomplete if it's not powered by the anointing and the freshness and the power and the zeal and the fire of the Holy Spirit. That's what we need in our church to make our church come alive. This weekend we have oh. our, our charismatic conference. And you want to get zeal, you want to get power, you want to get the Holy Spirit, <laughs> come down to the charismatic conference. It starts on Friday. Friday. And it goes to the Caribbean conference. It's a co so on. the Jamaicans and the sisters that are coming in. And we, 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 we're hoping that our brothers and sisters from St. Lucia, I don't know if they're going to be coming in, but you know, I mean, this is a hard time for St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Dominica. Mm -hmm. You know, Dominica. You know what Dominica is named after? Oh. You know what I mean? You know, we just want them to come down. You know, 
come down to the, 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 the Catholic Charismatic Conference this weekend, where the whole Caribbean is going to be there. And we are going to, that is an opportunity too for all of you young people who've done the Life in the Spirit seminar. Come and continuously be fed by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Come down to the Charismatic mm -hmm. Conference. We want to see you there. Uncle Derek is going to be there in between weddings, of course. But I'm going to be down there. <laughs> come for the you know closing I mean? mass on but Sunday. Come for the closing Sunday mass on evening, Sunday. Make... You know, the, I, I'm sure the bishop is going to be there. Oh, yes. You know oh, what yes. I mean? So yes. please come down. You know, um, Winston, so you mentioned 300 mattresses. Mm -hmm. plus, plus linen, plus pillowcases, plus uh, towels, those kind of things, personal effects deodorant, soap, and so on. We need all that. So the $300 for, uh, um, for the mattress is just, is just the, the, the tip of the iceberg. So how much you want us? You just no. tell me so that we could tell our people outside here. If we could get yes. the equivalent of 500 mattresses, yes. we'll send 300 mattresses, and we, we will send um, towels and all these different things to go with that. Because the, the mattresses, you can't just sleep on a mattress just like that. Okay, good. All right. Listen, everybody listening outside it. We want you all to, to, to generously give at the beginning of 2014. Generously give to our brothers and sisters in St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Dominica, who suffered this terrible tragedy. And the good news is, the good news is God has blessed us in oh, Trinidad and Tobago. Tremendously. And the good news is, we are going to bless our brothers and sisters who are crying out in their need. Are you your brother's keeper? Or are we going to walk on the other side of the road and say, nah, I want to get involved in that? No, we're getting involved. So everybody watching on here with Breakfast with Deacons. Mm -hmm. The good news is we want you all to get involved. Jesus has blessed us. Mm -hmm. Let us reach out to our brothers and sisters and help them. Remember what I said. Go on to the website, rcpos.org, and you can go straight to the Youth Commission link. Okay? Or call them directly. 685 0321. 685 RCYCTT at Gmail. Or Catholic Youth Commission on Facebook. Catholic okay. Youth Commission on Facebook. All of you who have Facebook. Or if all of that is giving you trouble, Living Water Community, 109 Frederick Street, you can get in touch with us. Or Deacon Derek, 680-1043. My phone is always on. That's right. Call me, 680-1043. Call me so that we can get donations in, all right, to help our brothers and sisters up the islands who suffered with this terrible Christmas disaster. Call your, your parishes, organize your parishes. If you, can, if you don't have the resources, uh, you know a friend who would be able to help get one mattress from this one, get from your uncle, get from your auntie, get from people. We need to put our best foot forward early. We can, this is not something that we could wait by and by whenever it happens. No. We gotta move now. Yeah. Disaster recovery is not something you, 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 you do in your spare time. You know, you have to get up no electricity since that day. No water. No water. You have to go wash in the river. No, the, and they can't use the river water. For cooking, right. because the water is still discolored because yeah. it's been disturbed. Yeah, yeah. All right. So they've got no water for drinking. The trucks can't deliver water for them because the road, the roadways, yeah. all of some of the down. major roadways are down. And, and Living Water Community has, uh, we have our own um, outreach in, in Sufri. Saint Lucia. Yes, in yeah. Sufri. You know, so you know, all of those outside there looking on, we love you all. We are sending up help from Living Water Community to our mission there in St. Lucia. And we want to urge all Living Water Community Covenant members to get involved in this St. Lucia project also. Okay, so call into Living Water Community. That's part of our community serving and helping the needy in St. Lucia, right? We're in Sufri, right? And, and I mean, listen, the reports coming back to the community, it's devastating. We want you all to help. Yeah. Call in 680-1043-6234677. All Living Water Community members, you know this is your community. We've got a mission in St. Lucia. Let's get the good news out. Yeah. Living Water is helping. The people of Trinidad and Tobago are helping. Our brothers and sisters. Our, our brothers and sisters. And remember, what did our Holy Father say? Our Father. It's our Father. 
all of us are brothers and sisters. As we're closing off the first show with Breakfast with Deacons, Winston, I want to... I want to <laughs> thank you so much for being on. You thank know, you. We had to shift the program down a little bit because we had a, a family to come out here this morning, but we felt this was more important. This was the big family. Mm -hmm. The big family we family wanted business. Here. We had to deal with family business. We had to deal with family business. Yes. Breakfast with Deacons. Remember, every Tuesday and Thursday from 7 to 7.30 a.m., <laughs> look on, on the show, the number one breakfast show in the morning. You want to get good news? Come here. Breakfast with Deacons. The baddest. And we're looking forward <laughs> to seeing you all for 2014. All right? Come. Merry Christmas. Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Happy Make your New Year happy. Amen. <laughs> By helping somebody. You, but you're sounding better already. That's what we're talking about. The, the, the power, the spirit. The more you work for the Lord, the more you improve, my smoking, brother. Smoking. Smoking. <laughs> all right. Breakfast with Deacons, boy. The number one show in the morning. Look it on. All right. So, all so right. It's, a, it's a pleasure to be here, no, well, to I'm, share these moments yeah. with you and to highlight uh, and get help for brothers and sisters and to us. To, to encourage people yeah. to be the best version of themselves. You know, I, I had to, when, when, you, when you called me and I saw your email, I said, look, I have to shift everything now. You know, we had a family coming in. We want to talk about, um, you know, family life and what it was mm -hmm. like, you know, over the Christmas season mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. But I said, this is important. You Absolutely. Know I mean? let, let, let's, let's, let's help our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. of, the, of the islands. Mm -hmm. Let them know that we care. And if people want to, if people would like to go to St. Lucia at some point in time, if the Lord has put that in, in, in your heart. On mission. In mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's know. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, um, Winston, you know, th th this is an opportunity for us. An opportunity for all of us here to really begin the year mm -hmm. with a gift of love. Mm -hmm. A gift of love, giving of self, our time, our talent, and our treasure. And guess what? We have to, this is about stewardship. Hmm. Stewardship is looking up and looking after the gifts that God has given to us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 2014. Action time. Action.